since 2017 or even earlier than that, the Chinese government have been making people disappear. It could be people could be taken on the street or their home and sent to a so-called concentration camp. All of those disappearing people are Uyghurs. They're all Muslims. Some of them might not even practice religion, but the Chinese government is using the name of extreme, uh, cleansing of extremism. This doesn't even make sense, but the Chinese government is using this name because Islamophobia is going on in the entire world. And Chinese government want to use this, this weakness of the world to tie it to us, to accuse us for this. But this is wrong. Uyghur people, majority of Uyghur people are decent, peaceful people. It captured lots of attention because it was one of the very few websites that um, had different languages, including Tibetan, English, Chinese, and Uyghur. He wanted to create a bridge among everyone, not only between Han Chinese and Uyghur people, but all, all ethnic minorities and also to the outside world. You know, since Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, they're all banned in China. So people need a state, needed a stage to express their ideas and know what was going on in the world. And that website was one of the stage, the platform. And because of the website and other advocacy work my dad, uh, my dad did, my father was taken so many times. My entire family was under house, re house arrest many, many times, including me. Best, probably the best decision I have ever made and my father had ever, ever made. Because now I am the only safe person in my family and I'm able to speak out in Chinese or in English to tell the entire world about my father's story, my story, and the Uyghur people's story. Because in China, all the news are censored. You, you cannot believe everything that the news tell you. My dad, he never harmed any, anyone. His only crime or his only weapon was to use word and his pen to write out the truth. There are many, many other scholars who are like my father were also taken away. But then I feel so sad and so bad for all those people who, are held, who, who have, have been held in the camp. They've been tortured. They've been denied for food. They've been forced to labor. Some have been raped. Some, their organs have been taken. Organ harvesting now is also another issue that has been exposed. By doing this interview right now, I would like to let more people in the world know that my father is a peaceful, decent person. And one day I wish to see my father stop getting tortured by the Chinese government in any kinds of way, whatever mentally or physically. Most of the Uyghurs, they're practicing their religion in a peaceful way. And the Chinese government is not granting them religious freedom and the truth needs to be told.